morning and thank you for joining us. Let's start today's technical analysis with the euro dollar pair and recent events during the market. Greg? The euro dollar price remained largely unchanged in the last session. The RSI is giving a negative signal. The last session saw the dollar gain 0.6% against the yen. The stochastic indicator is giving a positive signal. The gold dollar pair gained 0.5% in the last session. The stochastic RSI is giving a negative signal. Alibaba's stock gained 1.3% in the last session. The stochastic indicator is giving a negative signal, which matches our overall technical analysis. Thank you. Moving on to the latest updates in world financial news. The Australian dollar crumbled to fresh two-and-a-half-year lows as the rout in UK bond markets spooked investors into the safety of US dollar, while an ongoing slide in the yuan piled on further pressure. The International Monetary Fund is downgrading its outlook for the world economy for 2023, citing a long list of threats that include Russia's war against Ukraine, chronic inflation pressures, punishing interest rates and the lingering consequences of the global pandemic. Eurozone government bond yields rose, tracking weakness in the UK gilts market after the Bank of England governor gave pension funds and other investors three days to fix their problems before it withdraws support. Thank you. And now let's go through today's major economic events. Japan's foreign bond investment will be released at 2350 GMT, the US Consumer Price Index Core at 1230 GMT, the US Consumer Price Index at 1230 GMT. Japan's foreign investment in Japan stocks will be released at 2350 GMT. Germany's harmonized index of consumer prices at 0600 hours GMT. Australia's consumer inflation expectations at 0 hours GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join our next review for the latest news and events from the financial market.